Hi, this is Simon Lobstall and welcome to this quick tip for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at circular text. Now, you probably don't often use circular text, but if you're doing something like creating a heads up display or HUD, uh, circular text can be really useful. And here's a trick for getting it all to work properly. As you probably know, I'm obsessive about getting things lined up perfectly by the numbers. But in this case, there's a little wrinkle that you have to be aware of in order to get everything perfect. So let's look at what it is. So to start off with, I'm going to be using a project dimension of a thousand pixels square. The rest doesn't really matter because this is going to just going to be a still. And I will come back to why it's a thousand pixels square later on. So I'm just going to draw out a circle just so we can get an idea of, of how this is all going to work. I'm going to center that up and come over to geometry and I'm going to duplicate that circle. So that was command D or right click duplicate and I'm going to make a little smaller one. And again, well, this time I'll do a right click duplicate and let's make it smaller still. I just want to give us some guides so we can see how this is all working. So then I'm going to come down and select the text tool and I'm going to type my text. So it's gone off the end of the screen, but don't worry about that. And to get this to be circular, we want to change the layout method from type to path. And then we want to come down and select circle from the path shape. So if I come over to properties and I center it up, this is the, the point of this tutorial. So that is now not centered. So how am I going to get it to be centered? Well, the default radius for that path is 200 pixels. So if I come back over to properties and the X anchor point, and I enter that same value here, so 200, you'll see it's now correctly centered. And if I then wanted to rotate this, it's going to be good. Whereas if I hadn't done that, the center of rotation is going to be like that, and that's really, really not helpful at all. So let's set our anchor point back to 200. So obviously in this case, I want my circle to be larger, but I don't want to have to go backwards and forwards all the time between the, the, the radius and the anchor point. So I'm gonna link the anchor point to the path size. So that X anchor point, add parameter pay via link, and I'm gonna select the text object, drag that in there, and then I'm going to come to Object, Path Options, and Radius X. And now you'll see that if I come back over and I adjust that radius, so it's like, it's more like that, it's going to be better for my HUD or even out there, depending on what I want to do, the offset is updating correctly. But now I'm going to show you the, the tricky bit. I'm going to delete that link, and I'm going to come over to the Project Setup, and I'm going to select a 1920 1080 project. And then I'm going to do the same thing again with that link. So click on the X, add parameter behavior link, select the text, drag that in there, object, path options, radius X. And now instead of being nicely centered up as it was before, it's kind of off over to the side here. So what's going on here? Well, the reality is that that magic figure of a thousand by a thousand is the only project width value that will allow us to have a scale value on the link of one. This, if I kind of go roughly do 0.5, yeah, that's kind of roughly it. But what is the right number and how do we achieve the right number there? Well, the answer is that what you need to do is you need to divide a thousand by your project width. And you'll notice that gives us 0.5208 until actually a longer decimal, but from the point of view of motion, you can only actually enter four decimal places. So let's come back over and enter that value. So 0.5208, and you'll see that that's perfect. And if we come back and we adjust that, again, it's it stays perfect, unlike my spelling here, diagnostics. So let's try that again with a different project set up. Let's go for uh, 1080 square and then again, link it, add parameter baby a link, bring that in, do that quickly. You know what to do now, path options, radius X. And here again, we're not quite lined up. How do we get the right value? 
Well, we get the right value by dividing 1000 by 1080, which is our new project width. And we've got 0.9259. So let's enter that 0.9259. And again, we're all good. So you could do it that way with a link, or you could probably more simply just rig this. So you could rig the add the X offset to a, a slider. And you could come over to the text uh, and the path radius, and you could rig that to the same slider. So rig add to slider. And then if we set them both to zero at zero, and I suppose the largest we'd want it is a thousand. So let's go for a thousand there. Set that range maximum to a thousand and set both of these values to a thousand. And now this slider becomes the control. So I hope you found that useful. It's always quite interesting to sort of dive into the, the, the deepest recesses of motion and find little quirks like this and to discover exactly what the workarounds are. So anyway, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.